windy conditions can put the fear even into professional bike riders. In fact, it can have more bearing on the outcome of a race even than a hilltop finish. Cutting through the peloton like a knife, crosswinds are hard to deal with and you'll need both strength and experience if you want to make the front group. Positioning is everything. More than any other aspect of the sport, crosswinds require perfect positioning at just the right time. In the mountains, a top class climber will be able to move from the back of the bunch to the front by the top, but even the strongest of riders will not be able to do this in crosswinds. Study the route and the forecast. Before we get into tactics, it's important to remember that you need to have done your preparation before the race. Make sure you know where the wind will be coming from, how strong it is, how open the roads are and where the major changes in direction come on the course. If you have this etched in your head or written on your stem, then you'll already be one step ahead. Get aero. Crosswinds and echelons almost always occur on flat roads. Cross tailwinds are the most dangerous as that's when you get the least shelter. As the group splits, the speed will be high, so it's important not only to get as much shelter from the wind as possible, but also to remain aerodynamic throughout. Don't try and sit on. Echelons are one of the few places in cycling where it can save you energy to work with the rest of the group rather than trying to sit on. Why? Well, sitting in a crosswind means riding to the side of the person in front of you. So if that person is already near to the gutter or the white line in the middle of the road, then this is a dangerous place to be. Plus, it's not going to be much fun for you. Working with the others in the group will mean that you don't end up in the line of riders in the gutter or on the white lines. Sprint to the turn. If you've done your homework and you know where the likely crosswind section will be, then sprint into the corner that precedes it. It's imperative to be at the front from the start of the section, so don't be afraid of using a little extra energy to make sure that you get there in the best position. There's no point in trying to be crafty and save energy, only to find that you're way too far behind to make the front echelon. Make any attacks or sprints so that others have to come around you in the wind. If you've made the front echelon and you want to whistle the group down or sprint for the win, then make sure that you attack or sprint in the gutter. This will mean that the riders behind you will not have any shelter and if they want to come around you, they'll have to do it into the wind. Riding in the gutter side is the least safe place to be as you have nowhere to move, but a strong wind changes this. Always remember to race smart. Carefully select your equipment. If there are brutally strong winds out there, you might want to consider a shallower front wheel. A deep back wheel should be fine as it doesn't affect your steering, but a deep front wheel can really throw you offline and be dangerous. Sit behind big riders. It goes without saying that you get more shelter from bigger riders, so if you've got a choice, then choose them over a spelt climber. Cornering in a line is an essential skill when it comes to road racing either when you're in a break or when the group is strung out.